Hey guys, welcome back to another Friendly Phil video. And as you can see, we are back at the Papa J 3.0 house. Me and Big Z have gotten home from our treasure hunt. What an experience that was. That might have been the craziest three video run of my whole life so far. It got me thinking, you know, we haven't spent enough time here at the Papa J 3.0 house. There's such a big backyard and so many things to do and we haven't even accomplished any of them yet. So I was thinking, what could we do to this backyard to make it even more epic for the Friendly Bill channel, the Logan's Land channel, and of course the Papa J channel? <laughs> it hit me. As you can see, the backyard has a bunch of different slides. We've got one slide, two slides, three slides, and my personal favorite slide out of all the slides in the backyard the water slide! But it got me thinking, what could make this water slide even more epic? Is if we turned it in to a box for a water slide. So I think that's the plan for today, guys. I will be turning our pool water slide into a working box for a water slide. Don't tell Logan and Jake, I might become the owner of the water slide, in which case, if they want to use it, they may have to pay a little fee to use my water slide. But we'll see how that goes. But first things first, guys, before we get to any of that, I've been reading the comments and you guys are right. While me and Biggs have been out on this treasure hunt, I don't think I've consumed even one donut. So I gave Biggs a call. He's picking me up. First things first, a quick little road trip to Tim Hortons to get ourselves some donuts. Because I can't wait for these donuts. They're going to taste so good after a full week at the cottage. I wonder where Biggs went, though. He said he was going to be right back. Oh, here he comes, guys. Big Z, how are you? I'm not doing too bad, Phil. How are you? Better now. Let's get some donuts. That's what I like to hear. First things first. Seatbelt, check. Phil, so what do you have in store for us today? Well, Big Z, I was thinking, I might have a little bit of a business venture for us. Making some money today? Well, that's the hoe. You know the water slide we have in the backyard? Yeah. What if we turn it into an epic box for a water slide? that when Jake and Logan want to use it, they got to pay us, of course. It's not a bad idea, I like where your head's at. But before any of that, Big Z, I was telling the viewers, we have gone way too long without our donuts. We spent a whole week up at your cottage. How close are we to Tim Hortons? Turning into the store right now. Big this has been the longest I've gone without a donut, and I'm looking so forward to it. I did a YouTube poll on Monday, and the top answer for people's favorite donuts was sprinkles. So I think in honor of that, we get six sprinkles. Sounds like a plan, Phil. You must be the happiest guy in the world right now. Hello, morning. Hi, can we please get a six pack of sprinkle donuts? Um, I don't have that. One second. Oh no. Try three. Um, I only have three at the moment, sir. Oh, do, do the other three chocolate oh. I so think they have three, three sprinkles. Then, uh, okay, yeah. Three? We'll take three sprinkle and three. Do you have chocolate dip? It's my favorite, okay. guys. So three sprinkles and three chocolate dip. Yes, please. Big Z, I think we locked out. Three sprinkle, three chocolate dip. That's not too bad. Also, I think chocolate dip was the second most requested on the poll. Well, that is my favorite, so it worked out for me. and it is time to enjoy these donuts finally. Like I've said, it's been so long. And if you haven't seen the last video, guys, you have to let me and Bigsy know, what do you want us to do with that cabin that's now ours? So many possibilities we could do with that. I'm really looking forward to building a blanket fort in there. Yeah, a blanket fort would be really, really cool. But yeah, like I said, let us know down below, guys, of anything you think we should put in that cabin because it's ours. So the possibilities are endless. Let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, guys, there's nothing like a fresh sprinkled donut. Yeah, I was thinking. What were you thinking, Phil? No, it has been a while since we had a donut. Two couldn't hurt, right? It's a great idea. Two could not hurt. <laughs> All right. I'll take a sprinkle this time though. You okay. take the chocolate dip. I'll try a chocolate dip. 
Those donuts were amazing and well worth the wait. But Biggie, before we start building and seeing if this business venture works out, I have to thank the Friendly Phil fam. Guys, you guys have been amazing. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers, and that means we're getting closer to the Friendly Phil surprise. So guys, keep smacking that subscribe button, keep pressing the like button, and of course, don't forget the bell so you never miss an awesome Phil video. I was thinking, I think it's about time I let you in on this surprise. Phil, you're finally gonna tell me? Yeah, Big Z, because we're getting so close to 50K, and I know I'm gonna need your help with setting it up. I better tell you right now. All right, Phil, I'm all ears. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need so many. No! <laughs> Woo Wait, Biggs, I'm not. I'm only halfway done. Yeah, yeah. So we're also gonna need. That's all I can say for now. But all right, Biggsy, let's grab the cardboard, let's grab the tape, and let's get this project underway. Gathered the cardboard, I gathered the tape we need, and we're ready to get started on this build and hopefully earn ourselves a little bit of money. And if you haven't noticed, me and Big Z have changed into our swim gear because something tells me we might be getting a little bit wet. It's a hot day, I can't wait to jump in. If we're gonna be selling tickets to this water slide, doesn't exactly look aesthetically pleasing right now. We're gonna have to get rid of some bushes, maybe that pool floaty back there. This thing has to be turned completely into cardboard and look as cool as possible. update. We got rid of the greenery under the slide. It was actually pretty easy, but let me tell you, surrounding this thing in cardboard might be a little harder than we thought. I just did the stairs, and it took me like 30 minutes. I don't know if this slide attraction is going to be cool enough. We're not able to build a full cardboard enclosure around the slide, so it can be like one of those tube slides. Building a cardboard dome around the slide? Yeah, I know. I think it's going to be really difficult to attract as many people as possible. I think it's what we're going to have to do. We're also going to need a booth, though, so we have a place to accept all the people's money. Yeah, Phil, if we get a dome set up, we'll be a premium slide and attract so many customers. I'll start working on the dome. You start working on the table. I think Phil's heading inside the slide. Yeah, this is a lot more difficult to get into than I thought it was gonna be. I hope he doesn't fall in. What are you doing in there, Phil? I need to tape up all the loose edges, like this. Because I took my shoes off, so I'm hoping my feet can stick to the slide because we don't have the water running yet. This might be a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, though. Just check this out. So I'm gonna have to put the LEDs in here because we are definitely adding lights to this tunnel. Further down the slide I go. This is actually a cool little nest I just put myself in. Even further down the slide we go. I just realized, I don't know how I'm gonna get up. Big Z! Big Z! I'm falling, I need help! Oh my God, I'm here! Oh no! I need your hand! <laughs> what have I fallen? No, you can't fall in! <laughs> oh, it's working! Come oh, on! Pull Phil. me up! Oh, oh, I almost lost the tape! Oh. I'm losing my footing, Phil! No, do not lose your footing! Oh. Hold on, I got. Oh, no. no, no, no! <laughs> Cannot lose your footing! This GoPro cannot get wet or we lose all our footage! And I'm so close to the bottom of this slide! Oh, I'm trying to work my way back up, and I don't know if it's gonna, gonna go up. Hey, you look like Spider-Man right now, you're upside down! Oh, I got the handle! You will not believe what I just saved. Biggs' his AirPods fell out of his pocket. <laughs> if those had gone in the water, we would need to make a lot more money on this slide. Can you grab me and give me a hand now? Yeah. Oh, it's working! Woo! Oh, I can't confirm. I stayed dry and I got all the tape locked in inside the tunnel. Confirm that slides are meant for going down, not going up. This is a very good point. So we are just about. Seven eighths, yes, 
seven eighths of the way on the build to our amazing box four water slide. Phil, seven eighths. I mean, seven eighths. I mean, we're not quite done, but we're really, 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 really close to being done. Let me bring you guys on a quick tour of everything we've done up to this point. Pigsy, we open for business? We are officially, well, officially unofficially open for business. Woo All right, guys. So this is the ticket booth. This is where we'll be collecting the money and giving people their passes to ride on the awesome water slide. I've added a little secret hut here so we can store the money here so it doesn't have to be laid out all over the counter. That's good thinking, Biggs. But for thinking, I built the booth to take the money so I should get 70% of the income. Ooh, about that, Big Z. I've decided all proceeds earned will go to donut eating. Well, I can live with that. And now let's head to the best part of this whole fort, the water slide. So after you get your ticket, you will be allowed to open up this door. Have a great slide, sir. I will. You walk in here, you've got your staircase, you've got your nice window to look out onto the pool. And actually, one of my favorite touches, Big Z actually came up with it. We added these camo nets as a roof, so it still lets in nice airflow. Along with, I think it's really cool. Kind of feels like you're in a bunker in the military. It looks like you're in a jungle water slide when you're going up to it. It's so cool. Ooh, that is very true. It does have that kind of vibe to it. But guys, let's head on up and I'll show you how our tunnel turned out that we built around the water slide. This is awesome. We also did add the LEDs, of course, like we said we would. It's actually super cool in here. It is still missing something. It is the key ingredient to make this water slide a water slide. And that is, don't have the water turned on yet to the water slide. That's the reason why this fort is only 7 eighths built and not 8 eighths. Let's go turn on the water and get this box for a water slide in motion. All right, so this is where all the magic happens in the workings of our pool. Can't say I'm quite an expert, but I'm confident that I'll be able to figure it out. Looks like a lot of wires and connections. I wouldn't want to touch the wrong thing here. I know, but Jake's not home yet, so I'm the guy for the job. You're the right guy for the job, Phil. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting the electrical box open. <laughs> oh, there we go. He literally says, waterfall and water slide. All right, let's hope that was it. Let's go check out if the water's flowing. I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up, but I, I can see water falling down the slide. Let me bring you closer. I just remembered there's no way we can open up yet. Why not, Phil? We put all this hard work in. We have to test the slide out ourselves to see how much fun it is. Okay, Phil, I see what you did there. I'm going first. because you have decided to be the first ever passenger aboard the first ever box four water slide, I will be giving you the full experience. Phil, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long day of hard work and I can't wait to cool off. All right, we'll come right up to my ticket booth. Oh, my first customer, how are you doing? Not too bad. You're here to use the water slide? I am, yes. I heard you were actually one of the helpers of building the water slide. That is true indeed. That is why. You will only be charged a small, small price of $5. Charged to use it? I helped build it. Exactly. That's why it's only $5. Some members pay 10, others 20. Phil, $5? You don't even have the open sign turned on. Kind of forgot about that. All right, open sign on. But it's still going to be $5 bigs. But remember, all proceeds go to the donut. Express, which is donuts into my mouth and in my stomach. All right, Phil, fine. It better be worth it in there. Wait. You keep money in your hat? Of course, Phil. Safest place to put it. I mean, I guess your hat's always on your head. Therefore, the money is always on you. But I might stick to a wallet. Anyways, $5. <laughs> All right, guys. We got our first sale. It might have been by a co-founder of the Box for a Water Slide, but $5 $5. Well, along with that five dollars, you get your very own waterproof GoPro. Okay. And enjoy the ride. Don't mind if I do.
This is gonna be so fun. Oh, look at the water running down. It's gonna be so fast. I love this LED lighting. It really adds a cool effect to the water slide. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> and that is why you don't put your money in your <laughs> well, other than that that water slide was awesome it was so fast you know what big Z? your second ride's on the house oh really one benefit about canadian money it's waterproof it's already as good as new all right guys still let me go a second time because i helped build it the first time i went head first now i think i'm gonna go on my bum Oh, guys, I cannot wait to try this slide out. Oh, it is officially nighttime. Big Z had to go home. And Logan and Jake still haven't shown up yet. Oh, not too sure how the water slide business venture has worked out so far. You have to see this slide at night. It looks even cooler than it does during the day. Come on, let me show you. Box for a water slide in the middle of the day is one thing. But a box for a water slide at night, that's a whole nother animal. It does scare me a little bit though. I'm gonna go down by myself at night. So we might have to leave that to the morning. Also, we might have to leave our money making to the morning because like I said, Logan and Jake aren't even here yet. If you are new to the Friendly Phil fam though, do not forget to smash that subscribe button guys. Hit the like button, hit the bell button so you never miss an awesome Friendly Phil video. We have a bunch of awesome content planned in the future and it's all to be shared with you guys. So for all of you guys who've been on this awesome ride with me, don't you worry, there's more content to come and more donuts to eat.